Most of us fans know that Ghidorah, the three-headed dragon also known to Monarch as Monster Zero, was trapped within the ice sheets of Antarctica for a very long time, only to be reawakened from its dormant state by Alan Jonah and Emma Russell in KOTM. But how it was sealed there is still a big mystery, a big plot hole, and speculations are up and running again, and with the Monsterverse now constant soft reboots of storylines, this is left open to debate once more. Now the big question is which Titan froze Ghidorah in Antarctica? There are quite a few possible scenarios as to how the golden alien Titan found itself in the world's biggest popsicle. And now let's get to each one of these. So firstly, let's list down the two criteria that are needed to put Monster Zero there. Firstly, the Titan in question has to be stronger than it, to be able to at least put him in a state of unconsciousness before he freezes him. Otherwise, he would just wriggle away as the icing is in progress. Secondly, the Titan has to have freezing or frost abilities. There are quite a few ones out there that have these as of the current lore. Now, the director of KOTM, Michael Doty, stated that Godzilla had already beaten Ghidorah in the past and that theirs was an ancient rivalry of two apex titans at a class above all others. But since the Monsterverse is currently evolving with a more expansive lore, we might just get a slight change in the history of this event. Now, since Godzilla actually had quite a struggle against Ghidorah in KOTM and was only able to win with the help of Mothra, it is highly unlikely that the G-Man had the physical strength in his pre-KOTM form, actually pre-2014 form, to be able to at least best Ghidorah in melee battle. The Monarch series also showed that Godzilla was actually around 300 feet or 90 meters in 1954, 100 feet lesser than his KOTM version and therefore would have been around 221 feet shorter than Monster Zero. This means that in his ancient juvenile size, he would not have been able to defeat a way bigger and more powerful Ghidorah. This would only be possible only if his enemy was also smaller and weaker back in the day. So even if Godzilla was lucky in defeating his rival back then, that still leaves the second criteria null, which is how will Godzilla freeze Ghidorah in ice when Godzilla plainly has extremely hot powers like the atomic breath and a nuclear pulse. So now let's go by with the second criteria first and then work our way back to the first one. Let's take a look at the titans that have frost powers or the freezing abilities. As of now we have currently three titans that fit this description. The first one is Scylla with her liquid nitrogen secretion abilities which has been said to have started lowering down the oceanic temperatures to stable levels. The second one is the Frost Varric from Monarch, the Legacy of Monsters, which can inhale quite a lot of air and in turn lower down the temperature in the surroundings to minus levels. This Titan in fact feeds on fire and heat, which lowers the energy levels to minimal levels in the vicinity. The only problem with these two is their physical strength though, which is quite low on the Titan scale. Then lastly we have the third Titan with Frost Powers, and this is none other than Shimu, a new titan that will appear in Godzilla Kong the New Empire in a few months time. He has a power called the Frostbite Breath. Now from these three titans, only one of them can check out the first criteria as well, you know the physical strength one. Scylla is a beta titan and will not be able to overpower Ghidorah at all in order to freeze him over in the Antarctic ice. The Frost Varric 2 is too small to affect anything of the magnitude of Monster Zero which only leaves Shimu as the sole titan that can possibly overpower Ghidorah and ice him as well. Shimu is teased to actually be the first ever titan and the oldest amongst all, the undiscovered threat that can defeat any other single titan in combat and maybe will freeze Godzilla in the first half of the movie GXK and then Godzilla will evolve and come back for a second round. But there are also other scenarios that would lead to the same outcome and it doesn't have to require a specific single titan to check both criteria. Monster Zero could have been defeated by Godzilla and his incapacitated body thrown over or could have fallen down to an icy hole only to freeze due to the extreme cold weather in Antarctica. He could have also been defeated by Godzilla in a battle in the coast of Antarctica, much like the encounter outside of the coast of Mexico in KOTM. Mind you that back then the sea levels must have been higher and then the decapitated body of Ghidorah would slowly start to heal but then the ice would form in the ice age and would slow down the healing or the regenerative processes and hence him being dormant in a hole in the ice over there. Come to think about it, that hole was at an elevation that is actually below the sea level. So this scenario has a very high mark. 
Now the last one, the last scenario here is that Ghidorah must have been defeated by numerous other titans that answered the call of the Alpha and team up with Godzilla in a fight against the three-headed dragon, the alien invader. This would have been like the invasion of the Astro Monster from the Showa era or from the Destroy All Monsters storyline where two or three other kaijus would have been able to overpower the larger golden bees. So in the Monsterverse, these titans that awakened in KOTM like Scylla, Behemoth, Methuselah, the others, before they went into hibernation must have allied themselves with the Alpha back then, which is Godzilla, and together overpowered the larger extraterrestrial threat. And when Ghidorah was absolutely beaten to a pulp, he would have been frozen over by Scylla's liquid nitrogen powers. But in the end, all of these theories would be subject to legendary changes of the lore. And these theories are all still void and open to debate, which is why we have the comments section down below for fans to, you know, put your thoughts into. Now, if you like this video, then watch this other one as well. And do check out our channel for more Monsterverse content. We might just have things that you haven't seen before. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, fam.